Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. A question I've been asked a couple times is what is my opinion on people dating inside the gym or dating inside your fitness clubs or going, or females in particular, going out of the way to join sports in order to meet men. Now a lot of people do, uh, do say that you should not sleep with people inside your gym, inside your workplace, don't shit where you eat as people say, but I have a different opinion to that. I believe that I actually encourage people to date inside gyms and inside fitness clubs. But within reason and here's my reasons why. So the biggest problem is right now in our society online dating is the norm and meeting people inside uh, inside like bars and things like that is the norm as well or meeting people, um, meeting people through your friends is usually the common way and the best way to do it but that's always hard. So I've tried the online dating tinder thing. I have actually been on four tinder dates. Uh, all the guys were great. I filtered the guys, filtered through the guys really well, except for when I met the guys in person. I literally had nothing in common with them. I had no sexual attraction. Um, none of them made them to a second date. But they're all generally nice dudes. No one was creepy. I do have one dating rule, and that is I refuse to date a guy I meet in a bar. That is my number one rule. I will, if I meet a guy in a bar, I will not go on a date with them. I will not see them again outside of the bar. If I'm not a one night stand type of person, but if I go on a one night stand, that will be the end of it. So I do not date guys at mini bars. The reason for this is because when I used to go to clubs quite a bit when I was quite young, any of the guys that I met outside of the bar, uh, outside of the nightclubs that I met there, were actually really douchey guys and guys that I was that I actually had the worst experiences in hanging out with. So that's my number one dating rule is I do not date guys that I meet inside the bar. Now all the guys that I've dated, um, other than you know being in high school and stuff has been through my sports or through the gym. The reason for that is because you're finding people that have similar interests with you and it's actually really hard. So as a girl that's super into the gym, it is actually, it's really hard to date a guy that doesn't have similar interests to me, that doesn't feel the same way about training and working out and being fit and healthy because otherwise we're gonna have too many things that clash and they're gonna start saying like, why are you going to the gym all the time? Why are you always doing the sports? Why aren't you hanging out with me? We, you should quit. The, you should skip the gym today and go do this. The similar thing is with guys. Guys actually want to date a girl that's also, if a guy's super into health and fitness, wants to also date a girl that's into the same things because they want a girl that's not going to say, how about we stay at home tonight and watch TV and cuddle and go eat food instead of going to the gym. Whereas if they date a guy, date a girl that's into the gym, they can go to the gym together. Now in saying this, there's two different types of people that meet guys at the gym. I'm gonna talk from a girl's perspective. I train sports that are surrounded by men. And I do come across a lot of girls that come into these, let's go to say Jiu Jitsu for example. I meet a lot of girls that come into Jiu Jitsu and you can tell from the get go that they are only really interested in flirting with all the half naked sweaty men and meeting guys. So I have been across a couple of girls that have come through the sport throughout the years who've actually came in and slept with a large number of the men. Now, Guys talk and I hear a lot of the conversations that go around and the girls generally don't come back after they've made their rounds um, which is a shame for the sport because I want more girls to be doing these sports and it's a shame that a girl can't be can't embrace the inner sluttiness without being judged by men which is annoying but we do need to embrace the fact that guys do talk and girls need to have a little bit of self-respect so if you are coming into a sport don't just come don't just go to the gym and just sleep with every attractive guy around if you can avoid coming into a sport or into a gym and banging everyone in the gym it's probably a good bet now I've actually met a lot of couples that have met through martial arts or have met through CrossFit or have met through the gym and that is an awesome way to meet someone because they have similar interests and it can actually make the relationship grow really strong. Personally, I like to meet a guy when I am looking at, I look at my worst. I like to meet a guy when my hair is up, I am sweaty, my face is red, I am not looking very attractive because if that guy finds me attractive at my worst, then when I dress up really nice or we meet up for dinner or we meet up for coffee and I dress in a nice dress or high heels and I do my hair and makeup the guy's gonna be completely surprised of how well I can clean up so I like to meet a guy first impressions if they can find me attractive when I don't find myself attractive then I think they're gonna find me attractive when I really put in that effort and that's one thing that I love about meeting guys at the gym and in sports and another thing is also having that similar interest line to talk about 
with that person, um, something that I'm passionate about and something they're also passionate about. So maybe I went off track a little bit there. But yes, I encourage dating guys in the gym. I don't encourage girls coming into these sports and um, sleeping with a bunch of guys. But you know, if that works for you, I encourage the girls embracing their inner sluttiness. I'm not a slut shamer. But you got to understand that people talk and if you're going to go about doing things like that, just be careful and um, also be considerate of females and other females around the area because it might interrupt with other females in the gym. So that's one thing you should be careful with. I do recommend if you are at the gym and you do see a cute guy and you want to talk to them, then go and talk to them. And it's okay to meet people in the gym and it's okay to date guys in the gym. But girls, one thing, if you are going to the gym and you are doing these sports, don't be like, oh, all these guys are hitting on me, all these guys are flirting with me, all these guys are looking at me. Guys are trying to find a girl that they're comfortable with as well and trying to connect with a girl and they can find a, a cute girl in the gym and they can build that relationship and that's great for them too. So don't just think that um, if you're doing a gym that everybody's going to hit on you, everybody's going to stare at, on, stare at you, which is not the case. A lot of the guys are checking you out because you may be a potential mate for them in the future, not necessarily just a sexual one off, but as like a potential person that they could get along with because you're there doing a very similar hobby, and guys find that very attractive. Thank you so much for checking out my little rant video on what I think about people dating inside the gym. I hope this helps a couple people with a few questions. Now, if you have your opinion on what you should and should not do when it comes to dating inside gyms and sports like martial arts and crossfit and anything else like that then let me know in the comments below and if you have any success stories that you met your partner inside the gym then please let me know in the comments below i love to read your stories so thank you guys so much for checking out my video in the meantime make sure you subscribe to me on youtube by pressing that big red button and check me out on instagram and facebook thank you guys so much see you in my next see you in my next video